Cheers. Hello and welcome to the Vintage Motorist. In this video, I'm going to be showing you this toy steam crane from the 1950s. I'm going to give you a bit of history, then we're going to fire it up and see how much it can lift. Working toy steam cranes is something that you don't see many of. You see battery operated cranes, but having a proper working steam one is a bit of a rarity. And owning several traction engines and railway locomotives, I was quite keen to get hold of a crane. So I had a look round and on the very well known auction site, uh, I managed to find this crane, which as you can see, hadn't been used for a very long time. Um, these pictures give you an idea, but it was basically complete and solid, but it needed a clean up. It needed a few repairs, such as some silver soldering on the boiler. But anyway, um, took it all to bits, put it all back together again, and uh, managed to uh, get the crane to work. And there's a lovely picture of it next to the Basingstoke Canal. Now, this is the Model Engineer magazine from October 1953. And inside this magazine are the plans for this crane. Now, I call this a toy crane because it was designed for children. This article was produced with the idea that you would make this crane yourself at home and you would give it to your kiddies for Christmas. And that's exactly how it is worded. This is for kiddies to get their hands dirty um, and to have fun. You can customize your crane. Um, but all these cranes were hand built such as this one. Now I would be one happy child if I got this under the Christmas tree. So I'll just take you through a few parts of the crane. So we've got the regulator for making it go faster and slower. Then we've got the reversing handle to make it go backwards and forwards. So we've got a double acting oscillating cylinder. Um, then on the top here, we've got the lubricator for lubricating the cylinder. Then on the top here of our very nice copper boiler, we have our safety valve, which is set to blow off at 30 PSI. Then we have our blow down water level check valve. And at the bottom, we have our methylated spirit burner. As you can see, it's got three wicks and I use a ceramic wick material, which lasts a lot longer than the cotton type. Then as we go around to the front, we have the main winch for winching our loads up and down. And then up the jib we go to the top where you can see our hook. And then around the other side, you've got the main flywheel and also the gears that drive the winch. Right, so first thing to get this crane going, we need to fill the boiler with water. So we'll put our little funnel there and we'll fill it up. And you know when you get to the right level because the drain valve is open and you'll see there we are, it's overflowing under, under the table there. Um, so we know we've got the right amount of water. So we'll put the safety valve back on, make sure that's tight. Uh, we shall fill the lubricator up now with oil. So the best thing to use is a special steam grade oil, uh, which is slightly thicker than normal engine oil. Uh, so we'll just screw the top back on there. Then uh, very importantly, go round, lubricate all the moving parts of the mechanism. Um, for this, I use the same engine oil that I use in Primrose. Um, so just go around with the oil can, a uh, very important job to make sure everything's uh, nice and loose and free rolling. So the next thing to do is to fill our methylated spirit burner. So we'll put the funnel in there and we'll just fill it up. And we'll light the wicks. You can't really see it in this image, but they are, they are alight, I can assure you. Uh, if you look down through the... It's got a single flue, this boiler, and you can see the flames down below. So we know we've got uh, heat, and now it's a case of waiting for pressure to build. It's always an exciting moment. Uh, once uh, we have steam, you can see it coming out of the valve here. So we'll just close that off and let it build up some pressure. Once we're up to pressure, which normally takes around about three or four minutes, uh, we can start to see if the engine works. And what you'll tend to find is the engine will prime to start with as the hot steam enters of a cold cylinder. So you'll get water in there. Um, but once it's all heated up, warmed up nicely, it will uh, run absolutely fine. So uh, as you can see already, we now have power. We're about to just go up and down a few times. There's something about this, um, what you can't get on the camera is the, 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 the lovely aroma, the smell that this gives off, um, the hot oil, and, and of course it does make a, a lovely sound as well. The, um, the popping and crackling that you can hear is where the oil and the water is uh, running down inside the flue, um, down into the firebox. So the exhaust pipe goes up into the chimney and uh, when, when it's running it all runs down and pop, pops and crackles. 
so we've got our timber here for the timber yard and it's uh, managing that uh, quite all right um, with, with the design of this crane, um, you're supposed to be able to swivel it round um, on a like a turntable. Um, that's something that wasn't with the crane when I, I got it, so that's something I might have to build. I'm um, just showing you here how much the crane can lift. This is a 1.25 kilogram weight. Again, the crane here has no problem hauling this at all um, with the gearing. It's uh, it's impressive what a crane like this will actually lift, even though it's only a toy. And here we have an Austin 7 brake drum. So let's see if we can uh, winch this one up. And again, absolutely no problem at all. So I think the designer of this crane, um, LBSE or Curly Lawrence, he had various different names. I would be quite impressed to see this uh, crane working today. And whoever built this crane at home made an amazing job of it. So here we are, we've now got our weight, our 1.25 kilogram weight and our Austin 7 brake drum which actually weighs a kilogram. Um, so all together 2.25 kilograms and the crane has no problem at all. I'm sure it would actually lift more, but I don't want to put too much strain on it. But I think you'll agree, um, it's quite impressive for what is a toy crane. Look at that. So I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. If you have, please do like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications. And on behalf of Primrose and myself, we'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you'll join us next time.